In our previous lessons on Asia, we have talked a lot about the continent and we all will agree with the fact that Asia has a lot to offer in terms of geographical features, traditions, customs, people, cuisine and the list is unending. So Asia is also often regarded as the land of extremes. And we all will agree with this. Why? Because as we learnt in our previous lesson about the geographical features that are present on the continent, we saw that it is diversified with varied geographical features from high snow-clad mountains to vast stretches of scorching deserts. All is present in the continent of Asia. So Asia rightly is called the land of extremes. Now to justify this particular point, we need to first take a look at the longitudinal and latitudinal extent of the continent. Let's have a look at that. So as per the map here, we see that Asian continent has a vast latitudinal and longitudinal extent. The latitude ranging from 10 degrees south to 80 degrees north and the longitudes ranging from 26 degree east to 170 degree west. So the vast latitude and longitudinal extent is the major reason that gives Asia a variety in its climatic conditions too. Now to justify the point that Asia also has a varied climatic condition, there are certain examples that will help us do so. So ours, that is a city in Iran, has recorded the highest temperature in Asia. Now ours is among one of those cities or one of those places in the world that has recorded the highest temperature and it is present in the continent of Asia. Similarly, Veroyangs in Russia is the coldest place in Asia. Now, Veroyangs again is one of those places that are regarded or believed to be the coldest places on earth. So, very young in Asia is one of them. Another example is of the wettest place in Asia. Here we are talking about Mosinram. A city in a South Asian country that is India is one of the wettest places in Asia. Asia comprising of one of the wettest places on earth also is home to one of the driest places on the earth's surface. Here we are addressing to Eden. Eden is a place in Yemen that is a West Asian country and it is one of the hottest places on the earth and is a part of the continent of Asia. So we just witnessed some places with extreme temperature difference and they are all present in the continent of Asia. So it must be quite clear by now that Asia has a lot to offer, not only in terms of the geographical features, people, cuisine, but also its climatic conditions. So the vast latitudinal and longitudinal extent of the continent gives it a variety in climatic conditions ranging from the very polar climate type that is tundra climate to equatorial type of climate. So all the climate and vegetation type that falls between these two climate types are all present in the continent. So the major climatic conditions of the continent of Asia are the tundra climate, taiga, steppe, mediterranean and temperate monsoon that fall under the temperate climate, the desert climate, mountainous climate, tropical monsoon and finally equatorial. So all these climatic conditions that prevail over the continent of Asia has its subsequent vegetation type and wildlife. So we will be taking a look at each of these climate conditions, their vegetation and wildlife one by one. Cold chilly arctic winds blow from the northern part of the continent to the central regions. They 
blow down unchecked giving the central portion of the continent severe winters while the central and eastern portion of the continent has mountain ranges that act as barrier to this chilly winds so because of that arctic wind and the severe winters that span over the northern part or the central part of the continent here we have the tundra biome so tundra biome is believed to be the harshest and the coldest biome of the world with treeless regions low rainfall and severe winters the growing season is very less with short shrubs and vegetation in the summer season that is very short ranging up to 50 to 60 days only so in the very short summer that is present or that is prevalent over the siberian plain we have reindeer moss lichen and short bushes as part of the vegetation that grows or are found in the summer season over the siberian plain now can you guess why do we call the moss over the siberian plain the reindeer moss because santias reindeer that are present in this region gobble up the reindeer moss and they enjoying eating this vegetation so the siberian plain in the northern part of the continent experiences a tundra type of climate and here the vegetation is very less with low rainfall and severe winters so before we proceed with our lesson could you help me answer this simple question which of the following is not found over the siberian plain is it the reindeer moss the coniferous trees or the lichen yes the correct answer is the coniferous trees while reindeer moss and lichen is found over the siberian plain coniferous trees are not found here besides santa's reindeer we also find polar dogs over the siberian plain and they have adapted themselves to the extreme cold conditions and they live here happily as you see So in this lesson we were able to understand that the vast longitudinal and latitudinal extent of the continent of Asia gives it a variety even in its climatic conditions. We saw that the climatic conditions of the continent ranges from the tundra type of climate in the very north near the arctic region to the equatorial type of climate over the equatorial region. So in this lesson we learnt about the tundra type of climate the vegetation that is found there and also the wildlife in our next lesson we'll be taking a look at other climatic conditions and the respective vegetation and wildlife don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now